Hey guys, welcome to the video. If you need the answer quick, feel free to skip around, you know what to do. There's clickable timestamps in the description if you're on PC. Otherwise, sit back and learn as much as you can. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to do a perfect circle in Roblox Studio. Now most people... Hold on. Again. All this fun verification thing. It's like the recaptures except except it's the Roblox version. <laughs> Sorry, I'm wasting everyone's time here. Get out of here. Go. Oh, I guess that's not the right password. Duh. Oh. I'll check comments later. Oh. Uh. Wait, is it? Okay, what's my secret code? Email. I have to check my email and get my secret code. There we go. Okay. Uh, All right. Let's always open that. So, folks, that's how you log in through the browser. <laughs> okay, uh, let's open up somewhere fun just so this isn't boring. No, I don't want. Let's open up somewhere boring, and we'll make it less boring. <laughs> Actually, kind of look like the look of of it with the grid, without the base plate. Looks kind of cool. Okay, so the way most people build a circle is, I've seen plenty of this. Believe me. Uh, let me just turn the grid off. Here we go. So what they'll literally do is like this. Stop. There we go. And I gotta match it up. And then they'll rotate it again. And do another one. And if they're smart, then they'll uh, duplicate that section. And kind of do it like that, like in quarters. But the problem with this is it's not very consistent and I can guarantee that unless I'm just magically talented, this is not going to match up very well and I'm gonna have to have a partial piece to fill in the gap. So let, let's see what happens. <laughs> My rotation estimations were a little bit off. I rotated it a bunch of times. Okay, so check out this circle. Does it look okay from far away? Yeah, I'd say so. There we go. But check this out. Huh. 
well, maybe it is matching up all right, but it's still not perfect. I mean, it doesn't look great. And with some adjusting, I can, I can readjust, I can ungroup this and just readjust these a little bit. And you know what, that's actually an okay circle if you don't care about being, things being precise, but I do, unless it's something organic like trees, which that's not how you would build a tree. But okay, there's, there's a circle. Very, a very crude circle. <laughs> okay, that's, that's way number one to build a circle. Now way number two is a little bit better. I'm just gonna duplicate this piece. There we go. Um, why? why is your rotation all messed up? There we go. Okay, so the way other people would do it is <clears throat> add, just use a whatever angle you want. So I always like to use a calculator just because I don't always have these things memorized. Just faster saves me some thinking. Uh, take 360 degrees uh, divided by four. That's obvious. <laughs> 90. See, I'm just not wanting to do any thinking right now, and that's totally fine. Okay, and that would be 30 degrees if you divide by three. So, yeah. Okay, so just make sure you know how many pieces you want found and what I do is rotate this and then just make sure I line the corners up. So what you do is line the edge up with that corner right there and then slide right there. And then, do it again. And then by the way, I'm pressing F, F for focus, to zoom into the pieces. And that's, that's not too bad. If you look closely, you can see it's kind of goofed up, but I didn't do it completely precisely. And then you just rotate this around. And you align this piece. Now this doesn't have a border around it, so it's a little trickier. Actually, it's not. I'd say that's easier. Never mind. The axes are all all messed up. Let's see if this helps. Oops. Still trying to get used to how to use the transform tool. What the heck? How do you move this? I, oh, I can drag it around like this. Now I'm just going to go back to the move tool. Oh, but it, it did correct. Transform tool apparently corrected. I didn't even know it did that. It, it fixed the box to this part right here, which is aligned with the grid. Would it do that for the other? Oh no, it won't let me select the other ones. Oh, confusing. Okay. Not to get sidetracked, align that. If you ever get bored at any point, just skip ahead. That's totally fine. Nobody will know you did it. Okay, uh, and maybe I'm just completely retarded and this isn't going to line up at all. Or maybe it is. Okay, there we go. And that's not bad. Of course you can add more angles on this. You just you just get the number of pieces you want around the circle. And you can add a more detailed circle. But the more side the more faces you have, the more tedious it's gonna get. And then I'd say way number three to do it would be get a plugin that does it and I don't currently have any 
But let me show you the way I do it. Hold on, so let me grab one of these pieces. Okay, so here's what you do. And I did this in one of my other videos, so if you watched it, you would have seen me do this. Just basically, you put two pieces at the length apart that you, how wide you want your circle to be. Uh, so basically the diameter of your circle. And then what you do is make sure you have the angle that you want. In this case, I'm just gonna go like that. And you duplicate it, rotate. And at this point, this is where it gets really fun. You just duplicate and spin around. So for that reason, I call this technique spinning. And I don't know who else uses this technique. I kind of just discovered it. I'm like, here's how I, I thought about it. I'm like, Look at this rotate tool. It has a circle on it. Is there a way I can use that to create a perfect circle? And then I just filled it around and came up with this. I'm like, whoa, bro. And I use this to make spiral staircases and all kinds of stuff. You can also use it to make domes. Just gotta get 3D because look at it. It's actually, if you fill in the gaps on this, what you're actually looking at is a full sphere shape. So you can actually make spheres with this, uh, but let's keep it basic right now and just focus on the circle. Uh, so one of the main problems you might notice is that the piece, there's, there's gaps in between the pieces. So that's super easy to fix with all of these selected. If you're working where there's a lot of unlocked parts around, like you're working in a scene, then you might want to just name these all something unique so you can so like, let's say I would name this, uh, doesn't matter what you name it. It's only for organization. And then what you do is you can, um, don't do select all because that still selects everything. You just gotta click on one, shift, hold shift and press, um, and select all of them. Then you've got it. And then what you do is you go into size, and just have to figure out what, which axis that is. Oh, oops, <laughs> wrong one, obviously. Okay, there it is. So we gotta edit the X axis in this case. And just kind of test around and find your magic size. Might wanna look closely. The reason why you can take the time to get precise on this part is just because it's mass produced. Uh, but you don't have to get super precise, you know, there's, there's little gaps and things and stuff in games all the time. Just depends on what you're doing with this. So you wouldn't need to make a circle like this if you were just doing something small. And the reason why I wouldn't use a cylinder to either make a circle with unions or just make it the circle itself um, is because if you make it really big, you start to see, now on the side it's smooth shade, it's shading is smooth. But then you start to see these edges and just the bigger it gets, like, it just gets worse. Plus you can't really make, the, you can make them hollow, but it kind of messes up the shading sometimes. So check this out. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I know what the problem is. Now, I think they did increase the poly count on the side of the on the side of the cylinder at some point because I remember it used to be a lot worse. Now, actually, I would I would say that's a just fine way to make a circle. 
I'm just giving you other options. Uh, what you can do here is... Let's duplicate this. Okay, there we go. Then you can Control Shift N to negate, Control Shift G, and you've got a tube right there. Uh, yeah. Some of these methods aren't as editable, editable as others. Here I can just adjust the height by going like this. And then you can unionize them. Make it into a union. Does that fix the box? No. Just messing around, seeing if I can get it to... No. There's not really a good way to control where the bounding box is drawn. But anyway, that's just basic how to make a circle like that. There's a lot of more interesting things you can do with the uh, shape too. Like, this, just, this is better than using the cylinder just because you have individual parts, there's more things you can do with that. Uh, you know, just think of stuff, you know, I don't know, figure it out. Oh, I'll show you how to make spiral staircases and domes in another video. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoy this one. All right. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. You can get direct help on the Discord server, and if you think more people should see this, literally just hit the thumbs up button. Alright guys, let's build it forward. Mr. Kamsaki out. Testing! Testing!